So we will use Rallying Roar here. Uh, yeah. He gains more range attack speed and attack radius. He also gains, yeah, the knockback. Simple hero with great strength. Make sure to build up your defenses and include some camo detection. I think for camo detection, we will just drop a cleansing foam in the back. Um, sure. Because of the changes, we'll go sentry expert. How, we have 150 lives. We can leak a little bit. Pat's big squeeze. Yeah, so it's pretty good. Usually not worth it because uh, he can't attack at the same time. But for like a single Moab round... Like, for instance, round 40. It's nice to get the, uh, the the pop. He loves to swim over to Lotus Island and enjoy some of the local delicacies. Now beat the rest of the balloons. And remember, the Lotus Flowers have the special ability. Yes, so if you didn't know this, when the Lotus Flowers open, which they have not yet, you can use them to uh, stun balloons that are incoming so we will I'll, I'll demonstrate it since that's part of this tutorial we'll get sentry expert i'm curious to see if we can notice any changes we'll use pat fusty's uh thing i think just um boat is the most obvious go here just go middle path get to, uh, get through this no issues um Yeah, so what towers would benefit from a plus one damage would probably be, um, what are things that have low damage? I mean, bottom path tack technically does have low damage. Also, I'm, I almost threw there because I used the, oh yeah, so these are open now. So if you watch, when I use this, it freezes the balloons in place. I mean, they got killed pretty quickly there. Um, but that's always interesting. We'll actually give Acidic Mixture and Stronger Stim here. Not Stronger Stim. Uh, Berserk Brew. Uh, yeah, we'll go Monkey Pirates. This should be fine for us. Sure, we'll go Oversized and Pin just to have it. Sure, we'll, we'll show off. I think this should work well. Bottom path, you know, it has a lot of tacks, but each of them, I don't know how much damage they do, but not, like, a crazy amount. But there's so many of them um, that I think they'll benefit well from having... Oh, we already won. <laughs> not, not a particularly hard challenge. It's just teaching you how to use Pat Fusty. I think Psy is the next one. Yeah, Discover Psy's Strengths and Abilities. Sai is really good. I like them. Uh, Sai is a young monkey with a peculiar ability to sense and pop balloons from a great distance, even if they're camouflaged. Their mind isn't powerful enough to pop ceramic purple and mobs yet, but at higher levels they are. So we'll... Uh, they're quite good for um, chimps. You know, they can attack anywhere. Sai's range with his ability is limited, however target balloons anywhere in the map yeah so his um or their third level ability uh only works within size range uh as opposed to the level 10 ability and size the stronger side gets the better their concentration they attack faster talk target more balloons and even hit balloons near the target. Yeah, so if they can pop a balloon, it'll attack nearby balloons. Uh, yes, and putting Psy on strong is usually the, the way to go. I think ceramic and lead balloons, no problem for Psy at 6 and 8. They do attack slower, so they can't be the main damage dealer. Um, yeah, they're a great support tower. Um, I guess we should get 
some stuff so we can actually attack. Yeah, level 10 Psionic Scream uh, can pop lots of balloons and they send a bunch back. Um, yeah, use Psionic Scream this round. We will. We should have bought an Air Burst Darts. Maybe here? Sure, we'll buy triple guns. Use size abilities and keep... Okay, we're going to do an old school... Not old school, but like a very classic Bloom Star Defense 6 strategy, which is... Top Path Ninja Monkey, like a 402, and a... Alchemist. Um, and this should pretty much win. I mean, I don't know... You know, these 15 rounds don't mean anything. They're custom rounds <clears throat> for challenges. Mm. There's our B Moab. Yeah, size got him once once it's popped. That's exciting. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna go with Bloon Jitsu. We will go Caltrops. I do think they're worth it, even though not everyone gets Caltrops. We'll plop down the, uh, Alchemist down here. And then we're pretty much good. I'll, I'll put a Druid just to give more range. Yeah, so Heart of Thunder, Hard Thorns were increased the price, and Heart of Thunder was decreased. Uh, still very good. Um, yeah, so we will... Uh, we'll just cruise through this. This shouldn't be an issue. Maybe I'll just make, make this go a little faster. Yeah, so we can see the... Oh, no. Yeah, so we're already done. <laughs> yeah, size great. I love them for... Pretty much all they're like another go-to so i like hands off heroes um so sai sada uh so yeah let's do this quest mob madness five rounds 50 mob class balloons on each round start with fifty thousand. so we can't use water towers which would be funny i'm tempted to go actually bottom path so we'll go glue. I get the free glue because I am. Um... We can farm though. I think I'm just gonna go bottom path. Uh... Maybe let's get a monkey. So let's see if this is enough to beat 50 Moabs. It seems like it will be. <laughs> um. Oh, they might, the spacing might decrease gradually, is what I'm guessing. But this is going well so far. Let me check my uh, sound also. Yeah, just some, I, I may, wanted to make sure the pop, oh no, but there are BF, okay, so the, the type of uh, Moab increases. I see, oh, okay, okay, it's going to be 50, okay, so we are going to go bottom path for the infinite stun eventually i see so <laughs> oh sh shit come on come on <laughs> okay interesting is it worth farming then at all What if we just went... <laughs> what if we just infinitely stunned the... We could go... This might be extremely painful. But we could go bottom path and then... Top path here. Save up for Bloom Crush. This might be brutal though. <laughs> this... This... <laughs> uh... <laughs> Maybe we still should get a um, uh, the bottom path because this this could take forever. I'd be interested to see if we can stop. That means round five will be fifty. Hmm. 
Maybe we should farm super aggressively? I don't know. I mean, super glue is basic, like, giving us time isn't really that helpful, though, right now is the only thing. We do get a lot of money. So I'm thinking, I'm actually thinking our first strategy was pretty good, but I am going to put him, or the, this monkey here, because we need, I'm going to go with Comanche Commander. It's almost perfectly the price, and we're just going to farm like crazy early. So we're going to do like boss farming, or what I do for boss farming. Um, but just over a really short period of time. In the hopes that this will be enough to carry us through here. So then we'll get one of these. Increase radius. Slow it down for a second here. So once we have 10,000, we sell... Um, and now we spam some of these. So the DDTs will be incoming soon. Oh, 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 I know the issue. I, I see. We need a MIB because these guys cannot break. Will this work? Oh, they're, f they're pushing. No. <sighs> what about this? What if we just went middle path druid? Because he's got infinite pierce, basically. It's a little cheaper, so we might be able to farm with that. So let's try this. <laughs> um... Okay. This should just work. <laughs> we'll see. I'm curious too.